Imagine a world that was once lush and green, teeming with life, now a vast sea of endless sand. The Sahara Desert wasn't always a desert, but how did it become the largest and hottest one on Earth? The story is more dramatic than you might think. Welcome back to Understanding the World. Today, we're journeying back in time to uncover one of the planet's most incredible transformations. We'll explore how the Sahara switched from fertile grasslands, full of lakes and life, into the vast, sandy expanse we know today. This isn't just a story about sand, it's a powerful lesson about Earth's ever-changing climate and the forces that shape our world. So buckle up as we peel back the layers of time on this epic environmental saga. Believe it or not, just thousands of years ago, the Sahara was a vibrant, green landscape. It was a world away from the arid scenery we picture now. It was filled with sprawling rivers, massive lakes, and lush vegetation that supported an incredible array of wildlife. How do we know this? Archaeologists have discovered stunning evidence hidden in plain sight. Ancient cave paintings scattered across the region depict scenes that seem impossible today. People fishing in bountiful waters, and herds of hippos, giraffes, and elephants roaming free. This era, which scientists call the African Humid Period, lasted from around 10,000 to just 5,000 years ago. It was a true paradise, a green savanna at the heart of North Africa. But all of that was about to change, and fast. So what went wrong? What triggered such a dramatic shift from a green paradise to a desolate wasteland? The answer lies not on Earth, but in the sky. The Earth's tilt and its orbit around the Sun are not static. They wobble and shift over vast timescales in what are known as Milankovitch cycles. About 5,000 years ago, a subtle change in Earth's axial tilt altered the path of the powerful African monsoon rains that had nourished the Sahara for millennia. As the life-giving rainfall dramatically decreased, the delicate ecosystem began to collapse. Plants withered and died, the rich soils dried up and turned to dust, and the sand, once held in check, began its relentless march. In just a few thousand years a blink of an eye in geological time the Green Sahara was gone, replaced by an expanding desert. With the vegetation gone, to powerful forces took over, wind and sun. The relentless sun baked the exposed earth, while strong, unimpeded winds began to erode the fragile topsoil. This process, called Aeolian erosion, sculpted the landscape into what we see today. The winds whipped up colossal sandstorms, carrying sand grains for hundreds of miles and piling them up into the iconic dunes, some of which tower hundreds of meters high, the Sahara didn't just appear, it grew. It expanded relentlessly, swallowing up the land until it covered over 9 million square kilometers, an area roughly the size of the United States, stretching across 11 different countries. The Green Paradise was now a formidable sea of sand, but the story of the Sahara isn't just about climate change, it's also about human resilience. People didn't just vanish when the landscape changed, they adapted. Early humans migrated, following the last remaining sources of water along ancient riverbeds that now lie buried deep beneath the sand. Centuries later, these same routes became the arteries of civilization. Incredible camel caravans, sometimes numbering in the thousands, began to cross the formidable desert. They connected the great African empires, like those of Mali, Ghana, and ancient Egypt, through a network of trans-Saharan trade routes. These brave travelers carried not just precious goods like gold, salt, and ivory, but also ideas, culture, and knowledge, proving that even in the harshest environments, humanity finds a way to connect and thrive. Now for the most fascinating twist in our story. Could the Sahara turn green again? Scientists believe the answer is yes, the same orbital cycles that turned the Sahara into a desert are still at play. Projections suggest that in about 10,000 to 15,000 years, the Earth's wobble will once again shift the monsoon rains back over North Africa. This could trigger another African humid period, reviving ancient river systems and allowing vegetation to reclaim the dunes. The Sahara is not a dead or static place, it's a dynamic landscape, constantly breathing and evolving on a timescale far greater than our own. 
Its story is a powerful reminder that our planet is always in a state of flux. From vibrant green plains to majestic golden dunes, the Sahara's history is an epic saga of nature's power, climatic change, and the passage of time itself. It shows us how dramatically our world can transform. What do you think will humans still be around to witness the Sahara turning green again? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through time, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Understanding the World and hit that notification bell for more stories about our planet's hidden past. Thanks for watching.